Hello, today you've made it to a really fun part of music theory. We're going to talk about section eight, the major scale and key signatures. You already know some things about major scales. A major scale is a series of eight tones arranged in the following order of whole steps and half steps. And here is the order. So these are your answers. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. There are two ways to remember this. You can remember a silly sentence. We were happy when we were home. Or you can just remember that between notes three and four and seven and eight, that is where the half steps occur. Either way will work. You might also note that the first note of the scale and the last note of the scale have a special name, tonic. They're also called keynote. So just keep that in mind. Whatever the name, the letter name of the scale is, that names the scale. So in this case, here we have a C, and this is called a C major scale. Each scale is, a, each note in the scale is called a scale degree. So we're going to take a little bit of time to play a little game now with major scale degrees. So what I'd like to do is show you a game that we play in the studio and we use our piano. So at your house, you can do this with your piano and what you'll need is of course your, your piano and you're going to need some cards that show half steps and whole steps. I have some that I've printed out from my game, but you might just want to make some that have the whole and half step pattern. So we're gonna put this down here and we're going to see if we can remember. Now in the studio, what we do is we mix these cards up and we see who draws the correct card for the pattern. But today I'm just going to show you the pattern on the keyboard and then if you want to make up your own game, that is fun too. The other thing you need for your game is some erasers to mark the scale degrees. These are numbered one through eight. So let's begin. We're going to play our game starting with a G. So the first thing we need between notes one and two is a whole step. So I will put my W card here to remind me that I need a whole step. So the first note is G, that's number one. The second note is a whole step up, that's number two. So if I were drawing notes on a staff, I would be drawing a G and an A. Now that's our first step, our first pattern. After the first one, the first whole step, we need a second whole step. And there it is. So we have to go back to A and think about what is a whole step up from A? And it is B. So there's where the third note goes. So for, for the beginning of the scale, we have whole, whole. And now between notes three and four, we need a half step. So that is the next part of the pattern. And we're going to put our fourth eraser here. Whole, whole, half. So far, all of our notes are on white keys. The next part of the pattern calls for another whole step. And we are going to use our fifth eraser right here. And now we've built whole, whole, half, whole. The next part of our pattern calls for another whole step. And here we go with our sixth eraser. Wow, we've really almost built our scale starting on G. We have whole, whole, half, whole, whole. 
We need another whole step, and this is where it gets tricky. If we're not paying attention, we might just put another eraser right here, but that would be a half step. We need a whole step. Whole step means a key in between. So in order for the scale to sound correct, we need to follow this pattern. And so we are almost done. The last thing we need between the seventh and the eighth note is another whole, another half step, pardon me, and that goes right there. So starting on G, those are our notes, and this is how it sounds. You can pause the video and you can look through your theory book and see if there are any places where you can use this pattern on the scale degree G. All right, we're gonna take our game off and go back to section eight and take a look at what we have next. So section one is asking us to add the sharps and flats needed to form the major scale. And how we know how to do that is that we will be using that piano and that whole half step pattern and we will decide where are the sharps and flats needed. So one of the things that you can do that will really help you is to scoot over here to this side of the page and to label the keys according to the notes of the scale. And once you have that done, as in this example here, then you can go back to these that are labeled with the different uh, tonic notes and you can write in the proper sharps or flats. Remember that if you're going to put a sharp uh, on a note, it needs to go before the note. It needs to go to the left of the note. So that's how you are going to complete pages 28 and 29. And one of the things I want to encourage you to do as I take this book away is to get some staff paper and to take a look at what you can do. It takes a minute for this camera to come into focus here. I'm taking a red Sharpie, but you will probably want to do this with a pencil. And if you want to practice drawing notes on a scale, it will really be fun Here's the notes that we just did on that game. Because then all you have to do once you have drawn them is you mix them up and make different tunes with them. And you can make all kinds of tunes with major scales. So here's an example of our G major scale. And if you want to pause the video, you can copy this in the correct place. But really, it's lots and lots of fun to go ahead and to make your own scales on your own paper so that you have them and then you can use them whenever you're ready. See you next time when we talk about key signatures.